we still use these tools internally. <laughs> there are other fancy ways of doing it and other, other customers of ours have gone and graduated and used other tools and other software solutions. We still do it this way and it works just fine for us. This is the ultimate systems toolkit, and this is the simplest way that we can document everything and make it really, really, really effective for our team. Now, there are other tools available, and I'll show you a couple of other tools as other alternatives, but this is basically what we teach as the most bare bones and free, by the way, all of these are free options, so you don't get slugged with another monthly cost per person. This is the most basic way to do it. And let me tell you, we still use these tools internally. <laughs> there are other fancy ways of doing it and other, other customers of ours have gone and graduated and used other tools and other software solutions. We still do it this way and it works just fine for us. So we use Google Sites for our SOP library and I'm gonna give you a bit of a demo of what that looks like and how that kind of works. For our storage of our video recordings or of a process that ends up in a Google document that's going to sit inside Google Drive to capture or record our screen. There's a few different screen recording pieces of software out there. I like Screencastify because with one button, it'll actually automatically drop your files into Google Drive or it automatically drops your files into Google Drive which is pretty cool, makes it nice and easy for workflow. For task management, Asana is our favorite, but you can use your task management flavor of app that you prefer. And if you wanna actually build out courses for your team, like an onboarding course or a particular product course, where you start to structure particular learning outcomes and milestones and then create quizzes, which would be, I guess, one form of an audit checklist, making sure that you know that people know how to do the process. We actually build those out in Google Classroom. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use all of these and how to then bring them all together. And then we're gonna start building them out together. Let's have a look at what it actually looks like. So we bring things together into our library. This is Google Sites. And this is basically where we document everything. Now, this is effectively a digital version of a standard operating procedures manual. Remember right back at the very start, I said that, you know, if you go and work in a large corporate, this is what's gonna be on the shelf all the systems and processes that no one ever uses. Well, this is what we're actually gonna use for ours, but it's actually gonna be effective. And so this is where we document, you can see this process is the Your First Week. It's our newbies guide, which is our onboarding process for new people. And this basically documents what are the tools that you're gonna be using, who you're gonna be working with, where to find information when you need to find information. It's got information about the culture of our business, about what the expectations are. What else am I gonna put in the onboarding guide for the first week? Jump shots, absolutely. Jump shots are your key six to eight processes that you must get perfect every single time. They're kind of like, almost like the commandments, but they're like the playbook of your most important plays. If you think about a sports team, your jump shots are the most important processes that you wanna make sure the team nail every single time because they're critical to the effectiveness of the business. Where do we eat lunch? Exactly, yeah, where do we eat lunch? We used to have one of the things that we used to get our interns to do when we had a physical office in Sydney is we would actually have them go and check the mail at the post office box. And we used to have a screenshot of how to walk along Google Maps and how to find the post office because the first thing people would ask is like, well, you know, where's the post office and how do I get there? So we actually had a screenshot of Google Maps, the little walking guide, and we'd drop that in there. Next is Google Drive. This is where we're going to store our videos as we record them and we create them for the team and any documents that are created as well. So you can see here, I've got a team training drive and that team training drive is where we're gonna put all of the recordings. We're gonna drop them in there and then we're going to embed them when we embed them into our Google site, they're gonna be just stored in Google Drive and we're gonna actually embed them into our Google site. Next up, we're recording our screen. My recommendation is that we're gonna use Screencastify and that gives us the ability to just record what's happening on our computer and also talk somebody through the process, which is very, very useful. Next, we're gonna use Task Manager of choice to manage things like repeating tasks. Using a task manager lets you see, has it been done or not? And if it's a trigger that needs to happen every Friday at 10 a.m., you can schedule it as a repeating task every Friday at 10 a.m. And you can link back to the process in your SOP library in Google Sites. So each Google Sites page has a URL and we can actually take that URL and we can pop it into the description of the task. And then we just set the task as a repeating task. If you want to get started with that then our team will happily help you get started it's free for the first 15 people but if you do find that you want to upgrade to some of the more premium features like you can set up rules and automations and all those kind of things we'd really love it if you buy your licenses through us 
And sometimes we can help with things like discounts as well. And so you can start to see how we are building out a business system for our systems and processes to be followed by our team. Finally, if we wanna build out individual structured learning, we will use Google Classroom for that. And this is a free tool, it's now built into Google Workspace, which is pretty cool. And so Google Classroom is where we store structured training, where we want to make sure that the team understand it and know it because we can create things like quizzes, they have to turn in homework, and that's really, really useful. So this is what a course looks like when our support team member comes on board and they have to start supporting DNS for customers. This is our DNS course. So you can see there's a number of training sessions. Watch this video, go through this basics. What is cPanel? And then we go, we've got a quiz. So there's a domain hosting and DNS quiz, which I don't even know if I could pass myself. It's pretty challenging. And basically we've got a number of modules created in coursework here that our team will go through. So that's the ultimate systems toolkit. They are all the bits and pieces we need to bring this together. So make sure you've got each one of those written down. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.